All right, it picks me up. It knows exactly where the target is. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of the DJI Mavic Mini Follow Me Mode sequel. Because in the last episode, a lot of people asked me, how do you do that? How do you get that? Where did it come from, Follow Me Mode? We found two more bunkers. Oh, one more turret. A bunker right underneath us. I can find here there's an entrance. Let's have a peek. It's really dark inside. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of the DJI Mavic Mini Follow Me Mode sequel. Because in the last episode a lot of people asked me how do you do that how do you get that where did it come from follow me mode can we finally upgrade the mavic mini to follow me mode sadly enough there is not a dji app that you can update to unlock follow me mode yet but there's now a third party app it does cost a little bit that can unlock follow me mode and a lot of other cool new improved features that you can really improve the cinematic footage of your dji drone and get it a lot more professional footage like waypoints and a lot of other cool tricks and tips but this, of, this episode will be mainly about the following mode how to get it and how it works how to set it up so let's go into the google play store and get that new app and it called is litzy you go into your play store and you download it you do have to pay 25 bucks it's not free sadly enough this new app but it does unlock a lot of cool features that you would like to have as I will show you in a minute. You download the app, then you go to beta testing because it's still in beta testing. There's an app that is for a lot of other DJI drones for the Mavic Mini, it's still in beta testing. So some of the app features will not work perfect. It's all testing. So let's go. And we downloaded the app. We went to an accept beta flight. Then we update the app the second time. Now it's fully updated and working. And now we're gonna turn on the DJI drone and open up the app. And it will ask you, will I open the DJI or the Lich? Then you choose for the Lich. And then you wait until it connects with the drone. And in the completely left where you can see the eye, you can also click and open it up. And then we got all the new features. S, waypoint, follow me, and that's orbit. So you can do focus. We're gonna all test those out. In each every video, you can do panorama. That means you can turn the drone 360 degrees and get a parametric view. Then you got a lot of photos that you need to stitch together to get a really nice photo. And then we can also do active track, and that's cool. That is very cool. That is very 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 nice. And you can log in, but I don't want to log in. And right in the upper left corner, you can see how many satellites. You can see the voltage is 36 percent. It's GPS and then we got flying in P mode. We can switch that to S mode and C mode. It's all the same. We can see the range and how good the signal is. Those are those settings. We can also go all the way to the right where we got uh, the buttons to put a VR brill on. We got a button so we can choose from photos to video. We can turn video or photo on. Oh, we even got a voice, <laughs> nice female. Sexy voice, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Nice, thank you very much. You're friendly, and then we have a lot of other options. So we can change the format from the photos, we can change the white balance and the video, saturation, color filter, contrast, image size, video size, capture mode, the exposure, and sharpness. And in the upper right corner, you find the general options. And in general, you can find your units from imperial to metric. The map engine, we're gonna use Google Maps. Then we can use map type, we're gonna use hybrid. Map auto zoom. And then the safe area radius, 500 meters, okay. Uh, show home or retention, yes. Show GPS coordinates, you can turn it on. Show VPS height when used. Show battery voltage on, of course. Language, find my aircraft. So, yep, yep. And then we go to camera. We can do auto record, overexposure warning, uh, anti flicker. Wow, that's amazing. Or well, we can choose 50 to 60 hertz. So if you're flying indoors, well, now you can change to 60 hertz and then that flickering will disappear from the light. Then we switch to aircraft. We can go and choose the go home altitude, the maximum height altitude. So dynamic home point. Oh, that is very nice. So it will always fly to your transmitter. So if you're moving and walking away from the point from takeoff, it will just lock on to the transmitter. That is very, very nice. 
super handy. Log flights, so you can find your drone even if you lost your drone and the drone is out of battery. Those log flights are super important, super important. Check out my latest video. Uh, UV automatic sync, I'm just gonna put that off. And uh, signal loss behavior, return to home, landing or hover, yeah, return to home of course. Landing protection on, you can calibrate the compass. We have got auto takeoff and follow me mode on, yes. So we can even yeah, just drive away and it will start take off and start following us. And then we have gimbal mode on yaw, you can change that to FPV and free. Inspire, hmm. just leave it on follow, we're gonna just have to test those all those setting out, but it will be in another video. I'm just gonna show you that we got all the yeah the different settings that we used to have at the DJI app, but then a lot more and a lot better ones. And the gimbal extension, 30 degrees, and I love that. Having a plus 30 degrees, it gets some nice cinematic shots that are different than usual. And we go to speech, and well, I turn it off now, but I like the speech. I got a lot of like feedback on the frequency, altitude, distance, speed, battery voltage, so that's super nice. And then we can change the warning frequency into every 60 seconds or, or whatever we want. Yes, nice. When the battery drops below 40%, yeah, we can change it up. One, if the satellite's count drops below six, oh, that's not good. Then we also have keys, so we can set different uh, wave, uh, actions underneath the buttons of your transmitter but this is a simple transmitter of the Mavic Mini we don't have all those buttons but that's a cool option well now let's go back to finally volume mode and those settings and test those out and see how good they work and what we are oh yeah, what, what options do we have I'm super interested in showing you the volume mode main reason why I wanted to have this app and all the other cool options that I'm just discovering I'm just super impressed let's take off in the air there's just one issue, compass calibration is not working for some crazy way. So what do we do? Well, I will go out of the app, then we go to the DJI app and compass calibrate on the DJI app. Because it is for the drone. Well then we are now ready for the first test flight. Let's take off. Let's go to follow me mode. Sorry for the noise. And... You turn on the GPS and your internet, of course. <laughs> or else it will be very hard to find you. Waiting on GPS. And it is following me. Uh, it did change the size of from which side it's following me, and I'm out of view. So I set the height of the, the object too high. Need to lower it a little bit. So we have to play with the settings. And let's lower the altitude. I'm just, I'm just hoping. Yeah, that also changes the angle. 
maybe too much now we can go up a little bit because I don't, I don't see the car go up a little bit more 20 meters now I'm seeing the car as well okay just fine tuning it and I hope it stays like this and just fingers crossed we get a, a nice follow me mode cinematic footage Keeping up speed, I'm driving 45 kilometers per hour and it's not losing me, it's following me super nice. Okay, this is, oh, this is looking lovely. With some fine tuning, you get some really nice results. Woo, that's cool. That is super cool. I'm walking around in the harbor, it's looking good as well. It's not super, super smooth, but smooth enough, looking pretty good. And of course, I cannot resist to test it on a bicycle. Just like in the previous follow me mode video that we made, we're testing it on bicycles. Because there's a speed in between walking and driving a car. Uh, and it's still in beta, it still needs some fine tuning. As you can see to the results that we have, it works, but it's shockery from time to time. But it's looking very, very nice. Heck, I can't say a word bad about it, because man, oh man, it's working so easy and it takes so many nice shots. But it just takes some fine tuning and I still have to learn a lot. And we can do several things while following me. We can also let change the altitude. So it does do several things at once, creating the very, very cool cinematic shots. And you can do it from the side, from the back, from above, and even from the front. But here you can see it's happening a little bit when I'm filming from the side. And now I'm just walking on the beach. And just get a nice shot of outdoor activities <laughs> and it's working perfect even when I'm walking uphill it's following me without any issue without happening and we found something super interesting and I didn't know that it was here but we found World War II bunkers Yuck, yeah yeah maybe it's not easy to see but right here I'm at a World War II bunker there used to be a turret right here in this little round circle let me move it up a little bit for you Yeah, this should be in a, in a turret. Looking all around, protecting this area. And that was just where the gun was. If you follow me. We found two more bunkers. Oh, one more turret. But this is a much, much, much bigger one. And the artillery gun will be sitting right there, the heavy artillery gun. Right in that pole, in this hole, overlooking all this water. I was checking all these boats, and if there was an enemy boat, it would just shoot it down. But it's connected, it's connected to the artillery armory. Where you will be finding all the bullets. Right here, there's a bunker right underneath us. And you can find here, there's an entrance. I don't want to go inside, but let's have a peek, right? Let's have a peek, it's really dark inside. Ah, oh, does not smell, not be used. Oh. Well, this was left, the World War II bunker from the Germans. And here there's the Nala, there's a much bigger bunker. But I put a plate on it, yeah. And you see there are two areas where you can stay in and where you can place all your yeah, guns, bullets, artillery, grenades, lab mines, you name it, you name it. Whew. All right, super cool. All right. We got another big one. I can't lose my phone because I can't never get to it. Oof. That's really cool, right? 
two wheel, two wheel door, two bunkers. That is so cool. That's just cool. And so far, I'm liking the Litchi app. Follow me mode with the, for the Mavic Mini is made life so much easier. It's such a big improvement. Uh, now you can do real outdoor activities of like if you're driving on a beautiful road in between the mountains or you're maybe driving your bike down the mountain or through the forest or just an amazing landscape. You can now just have the drone follow you or just walking or hiking. Now you can have the drone and follow you all around, take those beautiful cinematic shots while well, you have your hands free. It's just an amazing, amazing upgrade. I'm loving it so much and I did not even explore 10% of what all the app got to offer because there are so many options. There's so many options and we have to fine tune so many settings to improve the performance. And there will be the coming updates because this is just beta. This is just beta. This is just testing. This is not the real app that will be coming out later on. But you can already go ahead and test just like me and have the functions that you just see. I really hope you like this episode. I hope you like my channel. And then if you're new to this channel, go ahead and please subscribe so you don't miss of the upcoming episode of the Litchi app where we're gonna dive more into the app for what it has to offer. And if you're interested in the Mavic Mini and its upgrades, spare parts, you'll be finding the links down below. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. This is Hartley Signing out.